Hi friends, welcome back to Quiet Time. Um, I just wanted to start by saying I know uh, tomorrow's Friday and tomorrow's gonna be our last day with our classroom dojo lessons and our activities. But I want you to know to, after tomorrow, I'm gonna post all the rest of the chapters for this book. We're not gonna miss out on this book. Don't worry, you're not gonna forever wonder what the end is. We will read all the chapters. They'll just all be posted at one time tomorrow. So you can read all of them in a day. You can take a couple more days to finish them, but we are gonna finish the book, I promise, okay? All right, let's get started. We gotta figure out what this alien is. Chapter eight, page 64. The hunt continues. The Tugwells were looking for me. They just weren't looking hard enough. I could hear them in the distance calling my name and arguing among themselves. How could you take your eye off him? I've looked everywhere. Have you checked the bushes? Of course, we have to find him before dark. Maybe we need some help. Help find him. I tried to move my ball, but it wouldn't budge. I was stuck. It was quiet for a while, which made me a little nervous, but I tried to stay very still and rest. I tried not to think about water or Sweetums. I woke up when I heard big footsteps clomping through the glass. Voices called out, Humphrey, Humphrey. And one voice was so loud, it was unmistakable, saying, Humphrey, tell us where you are. It had to be AJ. I'm here, 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 I squeaked as loudly as a hamster can. I guess no one heard me because the voices kept calling, Humphrey, 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 here, here, here. For some reason, we weren't making any progress. It was quiet again, and then I heard more footsteps thudding through the grass. Look over there, a small voice whispered. I'm here, I squeaked. How about those bushes, a second voice asked. Over here, I yelled. Then I heard it, meow. I made the mistake of looking up. Sweetums was poised on the top of the fence, staring down at me. Din Din was over. It was time for dessert. Under the bush, I yelled at the top of my tiny lungs. I heard more footsteps coming closer. Down there, said a voice. Ham? That I knew was Andy. I'll crawl under there, said the voice. It seemed like a long time before I saw someone looking right at me. It wasn't Sweetums this time, thank goodness. It was Dealey, AJ's little sister. Here's a ball. Oh, it's Humphrey. Come here, honey. Dealey reached in and grabbed the ball. She was a little rough, but I didn't mind. Hi, Humphrey. She had a big smile on her face. So did I. Hi, Ham, said Andy. I didn't mind being called Ham. I just didn't want to be called dessert. Meow, called Sweetums, obviously jealous of the attention I was getting. Hi, pretty kitty, Dee Lee answered. I cringed at her cat-friendly tone, but I forgave the girl because she'd saved me. Carrying the ball and me, Dee Lee raced up into the yard. We found him, we found him, she squealed. Soon, all of Garth's family and all of AJ's family gathered round. Way to go, said AJ, hugging his sister. Let's get him to his cage, said Garth's mom. He needs food and water. Boy, she's got that right. As we all hurried toward the house, I thought about Sweetums and how disappointed she must have been. Too bad, I thought. I only hoped that Og was as lucky as I was when the aliens came to take him away. I drank and drank and drank. I know my friends drink juice and soda, but nothing in the whole wide world tastes better than water. Trust me on that. Mrs. Tugwell served the Thomases lemonade and cookies, and they all laughed and shared stories about me, Garth, and AJ. When you called and asked if AJ could help look for Humphrey, I said, We're all going, Mr. Thomas said. We had to help our little buddy out. I found him, Dee Lee bragged, and I was glad, glad, glad she did. While the families talked, Garth and AJ stayed unusually quiet. Why don't you take AJ to your room, Garth's mom asked. Okay, Garth didn't sound very enthusiastic. Can we take Humphrey along? Yes, said Garth's mom, but be gentle with him. He's been through a lot today. This was a very smart woman. Once we were in Garth's room, the boys got quiet again. It wasn't my idea to call you, Garth finally said. My dad made me. Well, I'm glad he did. My sister found Humphrey, didn't she? AJ replied. Along with my brother, Garth snapped back. 
They were quiet again. Under ordinary circumstances, I would have spun on my wheel to entertain them, but I was far too weak. What's that? AJ asked after a while. My guitar, Garth answered. Can you play it? Sure. Garth took the guitar out of his case, fooled around with the strings, and began to play down in the valley. You can really play, said AJ. I told you I could. Garth's voice had an edge to it, and he started playing another song. I wish I could play, AJ sounded wistful. Can I try it? Garth thrust the guitar at AJ. Okay. AJ tried to play, but it sounded awful, awful, awful. We hamsters have sensitive ears, and mine were hurting from the terrible sounds that came out of that guitar. He stopped abruptly, thank goodness, and handed the guitar back to Garth. Here, he said, I'm no good. Nobody's good in the beginning, said Garth. I've been practicing for months. He started strumming again, and it sounded good. Honey, we're going home. AJ's mom poked her head in the door. Garth's parents said you can stay if you'd like. Okay, said AJ. Okay with you, Garth? asked Mrs. Thomas. Sure, Garth answered, but he didn't really sound like he meant it. After AJ's mom left, Garth and AJ were quiet for a while, which wasn't normal for them. They stared at my cage, and finally Garth said, maybe Humphrey's ready for another spin. My stomach did a somersault at the thought of meeting up with Sweetums again, but this time Garth put me in the ball and let me roll around his bedroom floor. I was pretty tired of rolling, but I also worried about coming face to face with another cat or dog or some other dangerous creature. It was time for me to take charge of my hamster ball. Garth strummed the guitar, but I hardly noticed. I already knew how to make wide turns, but now I wanted to try sharp turns. I spun my body to the right as fast as my legs would go, but the ball wobbled rather than moving very far. AJ laughed. Look at Humphrey Dumpty. Garth laughed too. He looks a little seasick. Once the ball stopped wobbling, I decided to try again. Remember seeing some boys on skateboards one time. I could leap up in the air and land reverse in the direction of their boards. It took, I took a deep breath and leapt up, turning my body at the same time. The only thing that happened was I hit my head on the ball and did a somersault, which is a pretty good trick, but not what I was aiming for. Meanwhile, I heard AJ and Garth I, I heard AJ ask Garth if he could teach him to play guitar. I'll try, said Garth. He didn't sound too convinced. As the boys sat side by side on their bed, on his bed, Garth showed AJ where to put his fingers and how to strum the strings. It still sounded terrible, horrible, and very, very bad. I'm hopeless, said AJ. You could be good, Garth sounded a little friendlier. Try it again. I was... I was already trying again. This time, I didn't hit my head, and I kept my balance as I leaped to the right, and what do you know? The ball made a faster turn to the right, and I was still circular. It, it was still circular, but it felt more in control. AJ's guitar playing was way out of control. I give up. AJ handed the guitar back to Garth. Garth picked out a few notes. It sounded terrible when I tried in the beginning, too. You just need practice. Suddenly, AJ jumped up and pointed right at me. Hey, look at Humphrey. That's so cool. What I was doing was pretty cool, if I do say so myself. First, I made a tight left-hand circle, then leapt to the right and did a tight right-hand circle. Garth and AJ got down on their knees and watched me. That's amazing, AJ exclaimed. How do you figure that out? I think he was practicing, Garth said. Now he could be in the hamster ball Olympics. Guys, this is just like when we practice drawing something or writing our names. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice, but then we get better and better. You know what? You could throw the ball better if you practice, said AJ. Don't you ever play catch with your dad? Dad said he's not very good at playing ball, Garth told him. Oh, said AJ. Then after a while, he added, maybe I could practice with you. You could help me with the guitar and I could help you with softball. You really think I could get better, Garth asked? Sure, said AJ. Look how good Humphrey is at a ball. And, and I was very good indeed. Sweetums would have a hard time keeping up with me now. Garth's dad popped his head in the doorway. We're ordering pizza for dinner. You like pepperoni, he asked AJ. Sure. This is the last page of chapter eight, friends. If you want to spend the night, your mom said she'd drop your clothes off, Mr. Tugwell added. Okay with you, Garth, AJ asked. Okay. Guys, they're getting along again. 
I was glad to hear that Garth answered without a bit of hesitation. Garth took me out of my hamster ball and put me back in my cage. While the family ate pizza, I took a long nap and dreamed about beautiful guitar music instead of space aliens or cats. The next afternoon, AJ talked Garth into coming outside. We'll just toss the ball around, he said. It won't be good, Garth warned him. Maybe not, but you'd, you'll get better than you are now, AJ said, just like the guitar or the hamster ball. I was happy they left me in the house, although I had a new technique. I wasn't anxious to come nose to nose with Sweetums again. She might still be looking for dessert. Even though I was inside, I could still hear Garth and AJ laughing and shouting in the yard. Nice catch, AJ said. Once, way to go. I spun on my wheel with pure joy. Even without a plan, I'd managed to help my friends. That was the best trick I'd learned all day. Our definition at the end of this chapter is practice. Doing the same thing over and over in order to get better at it. And all I can say is if you play the guitar the way AJ does, you better practice a lot. Practice always pays off, especially when steering a hamster ball. Humphrey's Dictionary of Wonderful Words. Guys, Humphrey's really right. It's really important to practice the things you want to get better at or do more of. All right, tomorrow we'll read chapter 9. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good rest. Bye.